Hello Pisces, welcome to your mid-May reading. Thank you for joining me. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Pisces, before we get started, if you'd like to have your reading be one of the first to come out in the next round, be sure to click the like button below. Okay, let's get started with your oracle cards. From the Oracle of Shadows and Light, you have pulled the card of the Dress of Alchemy. And this is about uh, power and the release of power. So around you, there's a feeling here of removing some kind of energetic debris that needs to be cleared. Because once you do that, I feel like this shining energy behind that. There's something blocking it first. Yeah, it's like you, you have, you, you've dammed up this energy, energy and the dam needs to be cleared away before the, the, the energy can flow through. So take time to clear from your own sacred energy field any kind of negative feelings such as envy, fear, guilt, jealousy. Once you are clear, the energy will come in behind that that is brighter, stronger, more powerful, a healthy energy. And it's about keeping that energy strong and bright. Because when you do come from that place of love, courage, wisdom, you'll attract good things. Now, it comes with change, of course, because the, the card signifies the arrival of that energy the release of the toxic. So any kind of ego-centered concepts, any toxic relationships, toxic energies will fall away. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now around you is an energy of healing. We have the Babylonian goddess, Gula. And it's the card of medicine, of healing. It's a blessing. And it's a, it's a very good energy for your well-being. So any areas of your life that need to be addressed, that needs healing. It could be that you've forgotten about self-care. It may be an energy here of, well, you know, it, I feel it's more about you feeling that you've, you've caused hurt or, or s there's something like that anyway. It's, uh, I, I feel that only good things will come from this. Although you're feeling bad about it, whatever it is, it could have been something small. It is an auspicious time to focus on healing in, in all aspects of your life. It's the perfect time that you can heal rifts with others as well. So if, if there is something that needs to be cleared up, where you feel that you've done something wrong or hurt someone, even if, it, if you didn't intend it to be that way, now's the perfect time that you can heal that. Be sincere. Be sincere with, with the healing energies yeah I, I do like the energy it's about the need to be willing to respect others and do no harm and as a result miracles will arise seemingly out of nowhere because it's like the energy debris will be cleared lovely energy around you Pisces let's have a look I've already meditated we have temperance on the bottom of the deck which is fantastic again finding that inner calmness that I, again being able to heal healing energy between you and another I feel it's strong so let's have a look I'm going to cut these cards and let's focus in on the energy of the person that you are dealing with here what they bring to the table when it comes to you their floor how they feel about you how you feel about them the strengths of your relationship the weakness, the potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock, and the outcome. So let's take a look here, Pisces. And don't forget, if you're not thinking of anyone, this may resonate as your energy, or it could resonate the opposite way around. Pisces, death card, okay. I've been seeing this a lot around this time of mid-May for a few, quite a few of the signs. So there is a an ending occurring here around this person but it's an, an end a much needed end so that they can have 
something new, bringing about change in, in their life, much needed change. Now what they bring to you, the Nine of Swords, okay. So there is some, um, I pick it up as a stressful situation around this. It's bringing some anxiety towards you. This person makes you anxious. We'll, we'll see what happens here. The weakness around or this person or the floor is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so I, I do feel that in this case, it, it's a question of there's not, not enough love. Not enough love, yeah. Mm. Maybe this person is saying that they don't they don't feel have feelings for you anymore and that's what's bringing about this despair mm, Pisces how they feel about you justice card in reverse so they do feel that there's been some kind of uh, injustice or unfair treatment in the past something that uh, something that you did mm. They seem to feel like it, it's hard for them to find the love again after after whatever this was, this injustice. How you're viewing them. We have the, the Princess of Cups or the Page of Cups. So I do feel that you are wanting to, to reconnect, wanting to renew renew the the relationship with this person it could be a lover it may be a friend a family member someone who who they feel that, that you're the one that's done them wrong here pisces but of course it could be someone that has done that to you it could be vice versa the strength is the eight of wands so there is communication fast moving communication opening up the lines of communication between you two explanations explanations of of why this occurred why this happened the weakness is the hanged man in reverse mm. along with that ace of cups in reverse there's uh, there has been an ending in the past I feel and this other person is finding it hard to move on from how how this that ending made them feel it's a very stuck kind of energy and there's a lot of feeling like feeling like this person is, is it's hard to, to to get over this this injustice. Mm. Let's see what the potential is. We have the seven of cups. The roadblock here is the four of swords. There does need to be healing and rest there needs to be time out here to heal and the seven of cups there as the potential you know if it's you Pisces that is thinking that there's a chance of this coming back together I feel it might be you then I feel like the timing is just not right right now it's it's a fantasy it's more about fantasizing that this could that this could be healed I don't feel the healing has occurred yet somebody still needs to to process this the outcome is the eight of Pentacles which is the card of of being dedicated and putting the the work in to to accomplish your goal here which I feel is to to make amends, to redress this. Let's see, I want to pull out some clarifiers. I'll start with the, the Crow Tarot. And uh, let's talk about what we'll be talking about in uh, part two, the extended version Pisces. 
So let's get some clarifiers. We'll start with that death card and what their energy is. So what is this death card? What is this death card here? What is this death card? What is this death card? Queen of Wands. Pisces, there's something that's ending around them. Now they're either a fire sign or they're ending it with a fire sign. Could be a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius that they're currently ending things with. Now what they bring to the table with you or what they bring to you is the Nine of Swords. So they're having difficulty coping with the situation. There's a instability around them and they're going through a difficult time in their life I feel and they're kind of bringing that to you as well. This person is making you anxious. There's anxiety and feeling like you can't cope with this this person. Mm, okay now the floor of this person is the nine of wands in reverse so they don't seem to be it's like they're giving up on love I feel like they're giving up on love there's a lack of strength there's weakness here it's about them not feeling strong enough to persevere mm. I don't know, I, I get an energy around them of they're, they're going through a, a personal difficulty at the moment. A personal difficulty. Now let's see how they're viewing you. The Four of Swords in reverse. Now there has been an injustice with you in the past, but they're seeing they're seeing you as they need to heal from something in their life but then they may be not taking the time to not taking the time to to bring that about to rest to heal let's see how you're viewing them judgment in reverse I feel you are you know you need to make a decision it seems like they're bringing they're bringing they're bringing something to you that you need to make a choice about, make a decision about. You know you need to make it, but it's, it's a difficult choice, difficult choice. Why? Because I think that they're, they're ending something with someone that they have had a relationship with. And I don't feel like they're allowing themselves enough time in between the ending of this and trying to make amends with you Some, something like that or let, let's see what the strength is between you okay we've got the two of cups so you know there is potential for a union here there's fast movement communication regarding uh, healing whatever you two had some unfair treatment of the past I feel Hmm. let's have a look at the weakness okay we've got the six of wands in reverse yeah that this person is unlucky in love they've had some recent disappointments they feel like they're they're lacking they're lacking the the success in their life and they seem to be hung up hung up on maybe personal failure failure of love failure of a relationship there's a, a sense around them they, they don't seem to be coming back to you at their best let's put it that way they're in a very weakened state and it's because they're feeling that they have failed to to accomplish something i get it as being unlucky in love let's look at the potential between you two yeah, there's that two of swords uh, needing to make that decision. There's going to be a choice, a choice that you need to make. 
and the roadblock here is the nine of cups so deciding what's truly going to be for the best what is it that you wish for is it this person because I feel you're going to be faced with making a choice a decision but it's a really difficult decision one in which you're having difficulty making the choice they may be coming to you with some kind of offer of renewal here Pisces let's have a look at the outcome Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles yeah it, it's it's I feel like you're going to make the right choice you're going to make a decision based on logic wisdom and I feel for you it will be the right choice now whether it's or not it's to be with this person or to let them go we'll see about that in part two but I, I get that they're in a they were in a relationship it's ending the trouble is though that it's recently ended and they haven't allowed themselves time in between they may be coming to you here because they haven't been able to achieve success in this relationship and they seem to be making having you make a choice here but you're finding it very difficult to make that choice and it's causing a lot of anxiety in you now there's potential for this to get back together to heal it's an ex someone from the past but are they still hung up on this other person that's the problem that's your concern you don't want to get back with this person and have them still hung up on this other individual you know you want to make the right choice you want to do the right thing for you moving forward you want this to work out so you're gonna to have to make this decision although it's difficult who makes you happy does this person make you happy what is it that you wish for have you you have you wished for this person to come back you know you might have you might have and now you're being faced with this choice but is it the right choice is it the right choice Pisces and it could potentially be with an air sign as well male or female you know it, it seems to be a blockage here I feel like there's some energetic debris that needs to be cleared before you can shine before you can clear your energy field of, of guilt fear jealousy envy you'll be able to to have all of this energy behind that so it's about clearing out that energy and welcoming welcoming in a more powerful energy and once you do that then and come from a place of love courage wisdom you'll attract the right kind of energy towards you and any relationships that are based on ego toxic they'll fall away naturally yeah you know what I get here Pisces is if there's great potential for healing here with this person but you both have to it, it, it has to be for the right reasons it has to be because of this love there has to be true connection here it can't be anything out of ego or because this person has recently gone through a difficulty an ending that they are holding on to or weakened in a weakened state because of this ending it has to be it has to be for the right reasons and I think that that's what you're weighing up here and that's what all this stress is about it's bringing anxiety to you because you don't know if this is the right move or not should you go back to this person are they being on the up and up here you know you feel that they've just gotten out of a relationship yeah. I do feel you, you care for this person though I feel that you may even love them 
So what decision do you make? Let's go into this in part two. Hope that you join me there. The link will be below in the descriptions box and that will be available on my Vimeo channel. If I don't see you there, then I wish you all the best with this Pisces. If you would like a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com and that email address is also in the box below. Wishing you the best here with this uh, Pisces. It's always up to you. Um, uh, tarot can guide and, and assist, but uh, the choice is yours. I feel like there's somebody coming back, wanting to heal it. The only problem is that they seem to have recently ended a relationship as well. So is this the right move for you? Let's look at it in the extended. We'll see you there. If not, wish you the best and I'll see you soon for the June readings. Bye for now, Pisces.